Hey kids, welcome. Today we will learn long division. Here we have four hundred seventeen as dividend and four as divisor. Now let's take the first digit of the dividend. Here it is four and divisor is also four. So here we will find the equal or smaller number than four in table of four. It is four ones are four. So one as quotient we will write and four we will write under four and subtract it and we will get the answer zero. Now the next digit is one. So we will bring it down from the dividend. But as you all know that in table of four we cannot found one. So we will write here four zeros are zero. Now zero as a quotient and we will write zero under one. And when we will subtract we will get again one. Now. Let us bring down the next digit from the dividend that is seven. So when we will bring it down beside seven, it will form the number seventeen. Let us find out the equal or lesser number than seventeen in table of four. Its four fours are sixteen. After subtracting sixteen, we will get one. But one is less than the divisor, so our question ends here. Do not forget to write quotient and remainder. when our sum gets over there is another method to do the same sum let's find out here we are taking the same dividend and divisor now again take the first digit of the dividend that is 4 we have to find out the equal or smaller number than 4 in the table of 4 which is our divisor that is 4 ones are 4 when we will subtract 4 ones are 4 we will get 0 now Let us bring down one, but we cannot subtract one from four. But it is a rule that at a time we can only bring one digit from dividend down. But to move further, we need more digit. So what we can do is we will put zero in the quotient and bring digit seven beside one. So we have seventeen here and ten in the quotient. In table of four, we have to find equal or lesser number than seventeen. It is four fours are sixteen. So we will write four in the quotient and sixteen down to subtract it. After subtracting sixteen from seventeen, we have got one now. Here no more digits are left in the dividend, and left number is also smaller than the divisor. So it is the remainder now. Here we have seen two methods, but we have found that quotient and remainder is same. but in the second method we have missed one step so we have put zero in the quotient now let us verify whether our division sum is right or wrong to verify this we have this formula dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder now insert the values in it here our dividend is 417 divisor is 4 Quotient is one hundred and four, and we have to add remainder one in it. First of all, multiply one hundred and four by four, and then add one in that. You will get the answer four hundred and sixteen plus one. After adding one in four hundred and sixteen, we have got the answer four hundred and seventeen. Now our dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So both the sides are equal. that means our sum is right if the number written at the both sides are equal then at the end we will write hence verified because our sum is right but if the number is different at one of the sides that means we need to check our division sum so today we have learned the long division and how to verify it